By the way, sometimes I hate no, to Those aren't choo choos, actually. Those, are, what? Oh, those aren't choo choos. Those are, um. Actually, I think they're supposed to be implied, uh. Grass enemies or something. I forget their names. But they're not slime. They act like the Choo Choo's. I, look, I know they look exactly like the Choo Choo's. But according to Zelda lore, Choo Choo's are slimes. That's not a slime, that's a vegetable. Really? Yeah, yeah, they are slimes. Well, no, no, I, I knew the fucking Choo Choo's were slime, goddamn. I didn't know. I no, thought the, those it, were fucking Choo Choo's. The wind yeah, wave... like, uh, they, they look like. Are they. I need to see. I need to read. I'm gonna read up on that then. Yeah, the wind Hold on, let me rock a week. Do, do so because I was gonna do it, but I'm too lazy. But anyway, uh, they're not- they're actually, um... In fact, I think Manhattan is a part of their species. <laughs> but yeah, those are- those are actually, um, those are actually, um, plants. Really poorly- Ah, uh, okay, yeah, he's right. Okay, so they're called Buzz Blob. What? What the and fuck is with this thing? I don't know. That's the only time you'll see it in the entire game. But apparently, they're, uh, they, it, it's noted how they are. They look like Choo Choo's. Yeah. Uh, uh, although, unlike Choo Choo's from other Zelda games, if Link attacks them with his sword alone, he takes damage. What? Yeah, yeah Buzzblobs. That's just on him. You have to, you have to use your boomerang to stun him or something else. But yeah, those are Buzz Blobs. This man is, uh, one of the descendants of the Sages of Hyrule. Uh, he's, um, one of his daughters is the Seven Maidens that were kidnapped in this game. He's completely pointless. And, no, he has no it has no relation to Matt Hadla. Well, no, if you look at Matt Hadla's, uh, sprite in, um, what's the game called, uh, Oracle of Seasons, he definitely looks like them. Also, um, you when you kill off his heads, like in, in Oracle of Seasons, he, you see the buzz blob underneath. This guy is is really nice, though. He's, he's an old fucker. He's a nice old fucker. He gives you this magical mirror. So the magic hey, that fucking rock almost fucking. So the magic mirror is what takes you to the dark world without turning into a rabbit, right? No, the magic mirror takes you out of the dark world. It doesn't bring you into it. And, uh, oh, by the way, most of the NPCs in this game, when you talk to them, they might heal you. Well, most so like I said, if you use the magic mirror and appear right on top of that, uh, that, uh, the, mush the, um, the, the mushroom that you have to give to the witch, uh, you glitch the game in a very interesting way. I, like, I'll leave it for people to find out for themselves, but it's very interesting. <laughs> so I'm just kind of exploring the caves here. I like I like how Link can see so far ahead you know, of him. I, I, I'm gonna say right now, one thing one thing I've always liked about the original Legend of Zelda, even though it was like just square by square long um, rooms, if you, yeah. if you if you light up a room by throwing the flame, you could light up the entire room. Yeah. They removed that when they when they made the lamp, and that's why the lamp is so fucking shit. <laughs> like I like the lamp in a Link Between Worlds. It does. What's like What's funny is after you. You don't even need the uh, if, if you get the magic book and the magical rod. You don't even need lamp. You don't even need the candles. Meet Spectacle Rock, everybody. This this um that little area appears in like three games. That's an interesting name, Spectacle Rock. It's because it looks like a pair of glasses. You know what? Spectacle. Uh, funny thing about Spectacle Rock and uh, Link Between Worlds. It becomes a fucking volcano. That didn't work. Well, actually, no. I got I got what I needed, and I didn't even know that was there. I was just like, whatever. I'm gonna check it out. <laughs> and see, like all the time, I just bump into a wall and like, ugh. Oh yeah, nice thing you can do is you can just run along the sides and not not bump against the wall. Saves time. Anyway, something about Spectacle Rock is that it shows up in a link between past. I don't actually think that makes you go between past. past. Really matters. A link to the past and um, uh, Zelda One, and I think Zelda Two, but it doesn't show up in um. Well, I'm trying to remember. No, it doesn't show up in a link to. Uh, yeah, here's the rabbit. This is the reason why Link has pink hair. Oh really? So because it's it just glitched. So then how? So then how is it that you uh that you don't become a rabbit evil in the world? You'll see. You'll get. A, you'll see you later. Also, spawn on top of the harpies. 
I do like that mechanic. Also, or the Tower of Hera, everybody. The this, Tower of what? The Tower of Hera. This is the this is the last uh, Light World dungeon. For now. Do you complete it in this? Uh... Yeah, I complete all the um, I complete all the dungeons in one part. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well. Fuck that noise. The fuck does that mean? Step off, bitch! I love, I love the boomerang. Yeah, it's one of my go-to wep uh, weapons until I get the hookshot. Oh fuck! It's boomerang has always been one of the first, one of my favorite weapons. I, I look, I know, I know. Fucking caterpillar, motherfucker! I know. Troll. Let, let's not, let's not bring, let's not bring it up until we get there. Troll dorm is not for the faint of heart. Unfortunately, I can't cheese this one. I mean, you are kind of cheating. Well, not really. I'm, I'm, I have to. I have to actually deal with them. Unlike before, where I could just find the key and I'm, I was done. It's supposed to make a skull, right? Yeah, it, it's it's the first one was not this. So they all make skull and crossbones. See. And this one should be the last one. Oh yeah. Don't worry. It, it comes. Uh, so, torch? Or lamp? Whatever? Uh, I hate these assholes. Yeah, oh, I, okay, these, these stuff are dry bones. <laughs> well, aren't there red dry bones? Why do they have pink heads? Well, they're, they're, they, uh, there work are red, There are red bones in, uh, Paper Mario, but that's about it. They have, they have pink heads because they, uh, have different AI compared to, uh... I missed. They have different AI compared to the normal ones. Not I mean, I've always liked that sound effect rather than the do 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 Yeah, I, I wish it was used more often, just for variety, just like in, the Metroid games that aren't Super Metroid. Well, I was thinking more like the Pokemon games, where they had, like, fucking seven different fanfare sound effects. Yeah, we're gonna try to trap them all. Dude, use the, use the magical boomerang. <laughs> Got him. Got him! Why not just go break those pots for hearts? Why not just go break those pots for hearts? Why didn't you go break those pots for hearts? I should, I should. Are, are those are those dino rhinos or dino torches? I mean, no. I think you know what's funny. I think they're not. What's the what's the uh, enemy I'm looking for? They're. I think they're not. Um. Uh. Dodongos. Oh, oh they're called Kodongos. Yeah, they're tiny Dodongos. They're like baby Dodongos. I can't. Actually, I think that's what Ko means in Japanese. Small. What about Konohara? My ass. <laughs> it means 800 chapters. <laughs> Isn't that the fucking kid's name from Detective Conan? Konoharu? No, Conan Edogawa. Oh, sh oh shit. That's why the fuck you better not fall. Don't worry, I have practice. <laughs> That's not the point here. We all have practice. I just... Run, 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 just just fuck them. These They're... enemies I think are related to Buzzy Beetles. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what these enemies are. <laughs> Sean, you madman, stop. I hate these fuckers. Yeah, they're pretty fucking annoying. It's probably why they drop arrows. Run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I actually can't find them right now. They, they look fucking cute, that's the thing. What? The co- Oh, the, the worm thingies? Yeah. They're just like, flying around, just kind of stupid. Yeah, you can bomb jump that cat. Yeah, I don't bomb jump, ever. I don't like hurting myself. That's because you're not emo. Ah! What was the hoth for, then? Bad joke. 
How about you go fuck yourself? That prevents you from becoming a rabbit in the, uh, in the... Yeah. It, I think it's implied that, um, the re the reason it's called... I think the joke here is is that it's called the Moon Pearl, because, uh, rabbits are associated with the, with the moon in, uh, Japanese, uh, mythology, whatnot. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a couple bottom of the walls there. This is literally the worst boss in the entire game. This is Moldor. The way Moldor's battle works is if he knocks you out of the arena at any point of the fight. Mom Spaghetti. <laughs> Mom Spaghetti. Yeah. <laughs> 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 At any point of the fight, we have to start the entire fight from the beginning. Yeah. And he's extremely easy to knock you out. If you get knocked into that center. But not only are the sides a holes, but there's a hole in the, in the in the middle too. Get knocked in that one, you end up falling two floors instead of one. So uh, this is just reminding me how much editing I have to do for the fucking data fight. But like, uh, I I'm just imagining when you were playing um, a Link Between Worlds and you found the and you could just use the hammer to make this boss easier. You were like, thank God. He also speeds up because you know. Speed um. And you know what the speed um. I lucked out. You got lucky. Lucky. That was luck. And I'm just like, fuck you. It's like, seriously, fuck your- How long did that take you? I don't remember. I think over 20 minutes. Oh, oh god. But yeah, oh, Moldor's not even hard, even though Sean died to him. Pen it's just- it's just Moldor's bullshit. <laughs> yeah, he is just bullshit. Mom's weak, mom's a heavy. Mom's spaghetti. Let's go. Yeah, those enemies, like I said before, are called hard hat beetles. They're, I think they're related to buzzy beetles. Oh, so they are beetles. Those blocks are called rocks. Uh, uh, Pinkie Pie's sister loves them. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Fucking ran right into that hole. <laughs> yes. Uh, why are you laughing at my <laughs> shitty fucking Two! Two for one. And I'm still gonna dash anyway. Pinkie Pie's sister's name? Mod. Mod, yeah. <laughs> Mod's at the top of the clip just chucking him at, him, at you. I remember when I was uh, playing uh, Link Between Worlds, I fucking was going up the mountain, right? And those boulders were coming down, and they just kept hitting me. I was like, you sons of bitches, leave me alone! Yeah, you can't even- you can't swipe at the, the buzz blobs without taking damage. That's gotta be annoying. Here's the Lumberjack- here's the lumb Lumberjack brothers here that, um... They'll be cutting until you beat Agnum. Just that one tree? Just that one tree, and then they never cut anything else. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I'd quit if I sucked that much too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, no, they start. Are you gonna pick up every fake fucking Master Sword? No, I only pick up the ones that I see. Wait, uh, why, why are there fakes anyway? To be an asshole! <laughs> it's a cute little joke, I like it. It just fucking dicks. Oh, I actually like the forest. I, I think it's a nice. Oh, I, this I, 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 I both dis I both like and dislike the cloud effect going on right now. It'll go away, don't worry. But I love this song, and I'm disappointed that uh, it goes away as soon as you pick up the Master Sword. Link Between World fixes that. All the themes will will um, remain instead of being replaced by the overworld theme. Um, Kakariko Village does the same. Dude, those fucking, like, tennis actually, like, like, I love how they just fly out from you. Like, they don't get inserted, and then they just fly away. Well, they serve their purpose. It's like the Dragon Balls. Dong! <laughs> suddenly, 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 uh, contacted you telepathically. That's bullshit. 
Hey, 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 hey. He's he's a fucking uh I forget what they're called, the uh, wise man or whatever. You know what? After I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't I didn't understand the reason why you called him Ocelot until I made the joke just now. <laughs> <laughs> right there.